So uh, Jim's surrounded by 69 bossy women. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> You're number 70. <laughs> My earliest memories are in the walk-through dairy, the original dairy that my great-grandfather built. The family have been here since 1895. Probably 1900 they started milking. So they lived in a slab hut next to the creek for probably five or six years. So they've been from day one, Norco, right through, till Dad gave up. I was in the mines and you know the farm was still here and not being utilised and I, I don't know it's just something that I've wanted this thing in my head about daring again and just kept coming back and back so one night we just had a talk about it came up and said why don't we start the dairy again and I was sick of the mines and I thought well I need the challenge I wanted to do something different again it feels the right move it feels um, if everything's I'm back where I should be he yeah. says he loves it. Yeah, I do love it. It's, it's a great life. It's hard work, but you get out what you put in. And it's lovely to see that in our little village, all of the little shops, the butcher shop, the general store has Norco, the new cafes using Norco milk. So they feel that connection because of the farms here. And because we've got the big Norco sign at the gate, people know that we do supply Norco. So therefore, when they buy it, they know where the cows are. So when people actually make the decision to go and buy Norco milk, they're supporting the local farmer. They're supporting our families. It keeps us going. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> go and milk some cows. <laughs> Mate, I will. No doubt about that. We'll be stronger if we are together now.